hiddenness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Damn, what a sick intro. Rip and tear until it's done. My boy. Doom. As someone that believes in Jesus, um, this is terrifying. A founding father of gaming since the stone ages of beige, fat monitors, and floppy disk. And arguably, the best gaming soundtrack in history. Mmm, the music. Even though it's been around so long, I've never truly gotten around to playing it. I still haven't played much of it, honestly, because I, I only got about an hour of footage here. And I just trimmed it down to like 20 minutes. I didn't need much footage from this. This is probably the most violent, gory, disgusting, and unholy thing I've ever laid my eyes on. The amount of pentagrams in this game just give me the ick. Oh my god. What a sick ass intro. I ain't gonna lie about it. Yacht. I love Jesus, and this game made me uneas uneasy the entire time I was playing it, because I'm a little wimp with all that. You know, all the demon-looking stuff is not for me. It got me. It's scary, but it's scary in a good way. Luckily, I had a 12-gauge shotgun to speak for me in these scary dark times, but it did get to me a little bit. I mean, you're, you're literally in hell. I mean, that's the whole point of the game, so, you know, whatever. The area design of this game is beautiful, like to looking off and seeing this freakish ghoul. Holy sh- Oh my god. Don't tell me he's gonna f*** me up, right? To just being able to run around and like grabbing the walls and, and jumping off of them to the next panel where you can kind of like hang on this grate. Can I jump up there? Damn it. I wanted that armor. This game is all about killing things. The fact you can swap weapon mods on the fly just so you can go from a grenade launcher to a rotating full auto shotgun. You can just tell the devs wanted you to kind of tear the demons to pieces and shreds. This is yet again one of those games that make you feel like a badass, and I love when games do that. More games should do this. Games are for fun and enjoyment, and sometimes, when life doesn't exactly go your way, you don't want to hop on a game and get absolutely destroyed by some 12-year-old that's been playing for 48 hours consistently, and every time you shoot at him, he sharts out an entire apartment complex. Sometimes you just want to feel like a hero, and Doom does it perfectly. In my experience, the gunplay is super streamlined fun, you don't have to try too hard with them, there's not any weird wiggling. It's just streamlined, perfect, everything feels real tight. There are some different enemies that can cause you some issues. I kept dying to the same enemy that was like the big scorpion-like thing. Ooh, ooh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't f*** with him. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead, yeah, I was about to say, I'm, yeah, I get shot on. Because my aim wasn't good enough to shoot their scorpion talents on the back of them. The meat wad seals, as I call them. God made me so much. Are the funniest thing to kill. Because they literally swallow your grenades. I wonder how they'd be practicing swallowing the grenades, Shine. The way you get your ammo back is using the chainsaw, which I really like and I think is super creative. I kind of wish there wasn't really a fuel system with it. I feel like you should just be able to use it. It's already a disadvantage in itself, so why do I have to keep putting fuel in it? But that's a bit of a goofy idea to toy with. Uh, insufficient fuel. How am I going to attack everybody? Am I going to have to beat them to death or some shit? It's not like the devs don't have everything down pat with this game. I also kind of wish they gave me a little bit more reserved ammo off the rip. Not really a big issue. I love how animated the fatality melee kills are, the ones where they're glowing gold. Not only does it give you an excuse to spam them because it heals you when you do use it, but it's just such a spectacularly gory experience. You're literally punching their heads down into their necks or ripping their arms off. It's like, it's, it's ripping their soul out of them and taking it for your own, basically. Jesus, that's metal as hell now that I'm saying it out loud. The aura this game has is especially just amazing, seeing that it's a classic series and it's a staple in the gaming world. It's unmatched. Even Halo doesn't have the history that Doom really does. 
Everybody's dad even played a Doom in the arcades or whatever it may have been. You know what I mean? Doom outlived grunge music and they came out the same year. I can't even imagine how many weapons there are truly in this game because I kept running into the issue of I have so many weapon mods and I have two weapons, which is just the AR and the shotgun, that I had no idea what to use half the time. There's so many weapons I don't even have time to like keep in fucking, keep in track of what I should be shooting. There's so many. It was overstimulating. It feels like so much is going on when you're playing this game. It feels like I can't even catch a break or like, I'm just, I'm just dying. I'm just constantly dying. I'm just getting shitted on. All in all, I love Doom and I don't know much about the game series, but I just felt like I'd make a video on it because I have nothing else to make a video on and I really wanted to squeeze one out for you guys. That sounds wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Please don't take that out of context. I am not many lad. Um, yeah, we're going to breeze past. I really have no games right now to make videos on, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, there will be an Elden Ring DLC video, don't worry, but it's gonna take me a while because I have to play through the DLC in the first place. So, if you're excited for that, please let me know in the comments down below. If you want any other games, let them suggestions fly out, whatever you'd like to do, or if you want me to go back and recover a game because I did a bad job, let me know. That's it. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.